the preliminary rounds. And I'm still smiling from that last match. Goodness me. Couldn't get any better than that. Well, let's see if these last two can get any better than that. But goodness me, you couldn't beat that, could you? Couldn't even predict that one to happen. So we have Farina of Romania in white and from Italy, Ufrida of Italy in blue. As we know, the Italians, very feisty indeed, very fit young athletes. Very well controlled, this Romanian, very strong indeed. Great left-handed grip, nicely controlled, look at that. Now if you're going to grip and control, that's the way you do it. The Romanian, very, very powerful indeed. Great composure making the Italian look busy but lack of control just throwing caution to the wind everything she seems to do even though it's an attack it's really little impact she's making on this Romanian look at that every time the Romanian comes in the preciseness of the attack is just superb And that left collar grip acts very, very strong indeed, controlling right onto that leg. She draws her opponent on for either the big Harai Goshi or the Uchimata. Those big legs are really, she's making full advantage of that slight head advantage. And my goodness me, she's really milking it. The Italian. Again, very, very fit. Work rate, excellent. A great change of direction. And that is what has taken it all back into perspective. The work that she's piled in with very little impact has now all we come the as the icing on the cake three. and we drawn in by just changing here. the direction of throwing. She will fight for the gold medal in the women and the so that's a great position now for the Italian to we be in with one and a half minutes left in this match. Start at 4 but not to say that the strength of the Romanian the still keeps her in as a major threat. Frida really cannot hang on to this this score needs to still play the same battle that she's been playing right through for the last two and a half minutes staying strong staying positive without accumulating the shidos so two shidos now and she cannot start wrapping these up the possibility this could happen again that's a very very poor attack another one like that would give her another shido oh lovely kochi good attack there but she has to be very careful that high collar grip from the romanian is the massive danger for that uchimata those big legs to come across the big harai and that's what the Italian has to do is keep that sleeve down and come underneath 
But again, a very poor attack. Flurry of as she was is there, rocked the balance of her opponents, the Romanian little tippy toe there. The Italian looking for the arm lock. Again, the, tactically, the clock is ticking away, 20 seconds left. Good position to be in. With the ability to take a Shido if needed. And a good drop, breaking the balance of her opponent, the Romanian, really now under extreme pressure. She's got maybe one more real ditched attempt to come back. She's got the judo, there's no doubt about it. But can she get close to the Italian without a drop in? And no, that's a, a shido. A shido, but it's a shido too late. And the win and a place in the final. Guifrida of Italy goes through and um, Florina of the Romania goes through for the final bronze medal. The winner of the semi-final for women under 50.